back in here. I'm going to show you guys something cool. I installed a new mod yesterday. It's called the Custom NPCs mod. It adds some pretty cool non-player characters to the game. And because it's night time, I'm going to stay in creative mode right now because I really don't want to be blown up or shot or whatever. But you'll see movement out there. And there are green names. Check this out. This is one of my village guardians. Right there. That's John Skellington. And for some reason he carries a fish. And over here, this is Paul Skellington. Paul says, have you seen my brother George? Huh. John back there behind me says, have you seen my brother Ringo? And, oh, I hear him attacking. He's shooting at that zombie. There he goes. Shoot him. Really? Ha ha, took him out. I've got their attack power set really high, so just because it's fun to watch. Anyway, this here, this little girl here, her name is Tia Kim, and she is pretty bad. She carries those dual-wielded diamond enchanted swords, and oh, she likes t Weapon Master. Look at that. She likes Weapon Master Finn. Uh-oh. <laughs> Paul Skellington says, Lord, you will be Pwn Zord. Ah, there he is. Hey, kill the zombie. Over here, I'm going to introduce you to the people, and then I'm going to show you how I did this. Okay, here's Mayor Tazer. A lot of the names are automatically assigned. You can assign them yourself, though. You can change that. Anyway, let's go out here. We have some special, besides the ones that just walk around and the ones that guard here. Paul just stands here. He's immobile. Uh, John and Tia Kim, they they roam around, but they just stay in the general area where you put them. Watch the chat window down there. Now this is single player, but watch the chat. They do talk, <laughs> well, especially when they see enemies. But I have three NPCs here in the market. This is potion maker Rosetta with her doctor's outfit on. She's looking smart. But uh, you right click on her and you'll see over here in this column and this column you can trade these items for these items and this is all configurable when you set up the NPC. And like I said, I'll show you how to do that. So she wants one spider eye for a weakness potion. Two spider eyes, or those are actually fermented spider eyes, but two for, uh, fermented spider eyes for an instant damage two. And on down the list you have an instant health two here and she wants two glistering melons. And uh, I wanted to be able to get this disc. So she wants a diamond coin for that, which you can get that from the trader inside there. Uh, Toolmaster Othar, he wants basically one more than each of the main materials in the... Uh-oh, I'm going to have to change that. Oh, okay. In, in these tools here. Never mind, I was wrong. But basically one more than the stone or the iron or the diamond in each one of these tools in order to make you that tool. Which... It's, whoop, I hear somebody shooting over here. No, I haven't seen your brother Ringo. Let's go talk to him. What do you say, Jack? Vigilance is your duty. Well, that's nice. No, your chainmail doesn't make you look fat. And I don't know why you're holding a fish. Sorry, dude. This is Weapon Master Finn. And uh, Tia Kim over there. She likes him. She thinks he's cute. So let's talk, into, talk to Weapon Master Finn. He's also a traitor. And, uh, he, but he does weapons. So he wants three cobblestone to make a sword three iron to make a sword, or three diamonds to make a sword. He also wants a gold block if you want 64 arrows, and six pieces of string to make you a bow. So those I, I just set up quickly as a demo here, so you can see what this this mod does, and I'm really enjoying it. And if you have a, like a uh, role play, uh, 
series you're doing on YouTube, these things would be great. And uh, we'll go in here and we'll talk to this item giver. His name is Iggy. And he has a guard over here. His guard is a furry. He's a wolf. And uh, you talk to him and he just says, hello, player. Iggy here. Now, I think I have him configured for every five minutes he'll give you an item. So that's changeable. You can make it every one minute or every time you talk to him or every ten minutes or whatever. But let's right click on him. Oh look, he gave me a villager egg. Isn't that something? So let's go out here. We'll just put this villager out here and freak him out because it's night time and make him run inside. Here we go. Put him down. Whoa, that's a cow. <laughs> I guess that's not a villager egg, is it? And since I'm in creative, it didn't use it up. All right, let's get rid of that. We'll go talk to the banker. Now, the bank is special. They're really cool. Uh, let's turn around here. and The guards, I have cloned them and changed them a little bit, so they're all going to say the same thing. Anyway, this is Steph the banker. She's a zombie, but she's friendly, so you don't have to worry about her. Uh, Right-click on her, and she's basically a chest, a double chest. And uh, if you look here, slot one, I can, you know, I can, I've already have those. I can store things in here. I'll put these bones in here. I'll be able to come back and get them later like any other chest. Uh, she has six slots, and that's configurable to up to I don't know how many. I'll, we'll check that in a minute. Uh, now, I can click on slot two, but slot, slot two hasn't been unlocked yet. And she wants a spider web to unlock the net slot too and it gets more valuable as you go up and I've configured these myself these they're not pre-configured and uh, go next door to these this other shop over here now this is also a trader she has her own guard because she's she wants a guard I guess that's one of her own people uh, golly I hope you're having a super day dark noob well thank you guard I am <laughs> And Applejack, uh, it's obviously in pony skin. I've read that this is her name is Applejack, so that's the name I gave her. Okay, let's so right-click on her. And look at that. She has a lot of stuff to trade. Um, she wants a dirt block, and she will give you a jungle sapling. If you give her each one of the kinds of meat, she'll give you cooked meat back. And I uh, actually need to change this. I think I'm going to make that four no I'll just leave that at one one stone brick to one circle stone brick and you can see what what she's got here mainly the coins two gold uh, two iron ingots for an iron coin two gold ingots for a gold coin and two diamonds for a diamond coin and uh, I didn't want those to be too expensive or too cheap I figured two of those each would be fine and you can get a ice block if you'll give her five snow blocks. Uh, you can get a diamond for five iron blocks. Uh, you can get a saddle for, excuse me, uh, three leather. You can oh cobwebs, but and you have to give her nine string. Uh, and cakes, yeah. You need ten eggs and she'll give you a cake. Bas basically, a trading system that you set up yourself uh, completely configured by you and let's go out here and see how to make the tools to do this all right you're gonna need a crafting bench and I'm just gonna set this down right here then in your crafting bench you're gonna want to make the NPC wand and this is your magic wand for creating and editing these NPCs. And uh, where did Tia Kim go? She's probably around here somewhere. <laughs> She'll be back. Anyway, we want to make the NPC wand. And to do that, you right click. There she is. I see her over there. Hey, girl. Whoa. Dude, get off. Oh, well. No, I have not, John. I have not seen your brother. Go find him. Okay, right click on your bench, put in two sticks, you're going to see this is going to look very familiar, 
and bread is what we're working with here. Basically going to make a hoe out of two sticks and some bread. You get your NPC wand. And let's take a look at what that does. This, if you click on an existing NPC, right click, you get, you can change everything about him. You can change wh what he is. Here are your options. Dwarf female, dwarf male, furry female, furry male, and they go male, female, but human, monster, orc, and then you have ponies, skeletons, and villagers. And uh, there are a lot of options in there, like for example, let's just do human, female. And uh, we'll select and select her skin. Well, each one of these is, well this is not doing me much good because she has armor on, but anyway, anyway there are a lot of different skins for these uh, NPCs. Well, let's ch change her back into a skeleton because I like them being skeletons. Uh, this is, he, he's walking and his walking range is 10 blocks. You can change that to sitting and dude. Really? Let's delete this guy. He doesn't belong here. Okay. So now you can see John is sitting on the ground. Kind of rotating around, keeping an eye on me. And he's lying on the ground now. <laughs> Not able to do a heck of a lot. <laughs> he's no fighting or anything. Uh, sneak standing. In other words, he's crouched. He's sneaky. And he'll, he'll, okay, sneak walking. He can walk around while sneaking. Come here. Uh, he walks full speed when he's sneaking. That's not cool. So, standing. Now that, he won't walk. He won't go anywhere while he's doing this. So we'll put him back on walking and let him do his thing. Uh, you can change his stats, and I've given him a lot of health. Uh, his attack range is two because we want him to get. He's got swords. He's not a ranged attack. Walking speed. This is the normal default walking speed. Uh, I gave him really high strength. His attack speed is pretty quick, and his walking attack walking speed while he's at, at running to what he's attacking. And uh, if they do get killed, they there's no way to heal them. But if they do get killed, they will respawn. Uh, if you turn this on, you can turn it off, but I keep it turned on. Now, I want him to respawn. Well, let's fix this. There we go. I want him to respawn five seconds after he's killed. And I don't want to show his body, so we'll go ahead and hide that. He has an inventory. <coughs> uh, the normal weapon or armor slots that you have but he has this weapon and you can put something in his offhand and whatever you put in here and it can be anything it doesn't have to be arrows <coughs> uh, it can be anything he will fire that as if it were an arrow and you'll hear the, the arrow twang when it fires and you can put anything in his inventory I, have n I guess that's for him to act as a sort of local walking chest for you. I don't know because they don't use what's in their inventory as far as I know. Now they might, but I don't think they do. Um, the item giver, now he does, Iggy, whatever you put in his inventory is what he gives you. Okay, so that, that was inventory. We'll go back. Advanced. Now this is where you get to choose what your NPC is. He can be a guard, an item giver, a trader, a mercenary, and you can hire your mercenaries and they will follow you and fight for you for a certain amount of time depending on what you pay them. Uh, what can you change? Okay, you drop in your currency here, what you want to pay them. Uh, for example, I want to pay him in bread. Let's put a bread there and change this to, you know, 50 days, which is crazy. I wouldn't do that, but I mean, that, that would be a little bit out of out of balance there but you could do you could do that it just figure out how much you want to pay for a certain number of days and go to it he'll he will stay with you and he'll fight for you and 
he says thank you for hiring me for however many days and down here when he when his days are done he'll say my days with you are over farewell player and uh, the you'll notice these are in curly brackets well those are like control characters sort of because whatever you put inside there is a command your your player he will he will substitute your name for this this command here and the same thing for days and I haven't read up to see what all of those are I'm sure there are more so you can he can be a mercenary he can be a bank and you saw what the bank does she's configurable uh, transporter will he follow you huh I'm not sure how that works I haven't done one of these yet but I assume that the way that looks they'll follow you maybe and they have no role they can just be somebody walking around in town that you don't interact with more than to just speak to them but he's a guard so he's set up I'm gonna put his aggro range to tw uh, no let's leave that at 10 he's set right now to not attack animals but to attack monsters and he will attack creepers but not other mobs so you can see how deep this gets into a lot of things it's you can get very deep into it if you try I and mean, if you really get, get into it uh, but he, these are his lines he speaks these are the lines he just generally speaks uh, as he's walking around have you seen my brother Paul George Ringo and his name is John uh, you probably if you're of a certain age or a certain musical taste you'll know <laughs> who that is uh, factions they do they these are the three factions that they can have they're aggressive if they're aggressive they will attack you and you can attack them if they're friendly you you cannot attack them and they will not attack you and neutral he won't attack you but if you attack him he will he will turn on you and you'll have to defend yourself so all my, my NPCs are set to friendly tonight um, let's go back here uh, dialogues now, villager dialogues I don't really know I don't think you can do anything with that uh, you can add your own but I'm not sure exactly how that works because I haven't tried it um, transport I don't know what how does that work mm, same thing I have no idea and of course delete your character and this is to exit out here and uh, it most of that is the same except the traders are a little different um, I have these set to stand and rotate their body but not walk around they don't really need a lot of uh, let's see let's not that eh, doesn't matter they don't need a lot of strength or attack or anything like that because all they do is stand here and they're pretty much just they're pr these are protected in here I don't need them to do anything so stats inventory uh, advanced now he's a trader and when you edit here that's where you can edit the cost of the items and the items that you can buy from that trader and lines factions dialogue that all works the same and uh, global that's on everybody's configuration screen so everybody you see is going to have that and um, it just depends on what class you set them up as whether they're a guard or an item giver hey Iggy or, per or perhaps maybe a bank uh, hey Steph and Applejack over here hello guard you know she's a trader there are many different roles you could create uh, I haven't tried everything now Paul he's sort of my uh, sentry out here he just stands here he's got a, l a long range he can hit with that bow anything that comes near here he's taking them out uh, John and Tiakim they 
they roam around and kill anything that gets close so that even if I wasn't in creative mode I wouldn't have to worry too much about anything getting close to me uh, these guys are really tough I gave them high attack and high uh, speed and everything and they ca I've seen her get killed and matter of fact this guy here you know who I'm talking about look at yeah see you know what I mean why are you carrying a chicken mm, yes it does thank you <laughs> you look fat but anyway this guy here can be a bad shot <laughs> he has shot me before he has shot he's killed her before and I think he's killed his brother John at least once because these two especially if they get if a mob gets in aggro range for any of the for all three of them or any any two of them especially him I'm looking at you yes you anyway if they get in between him and what he's shooting at he will shoot them <laughs> and they will die but fortunately they respawn and they even have they they take their inventory with them when they die it, if they if say they're carrying stakes let's see Has she got anything in her inventory see that these two stakes here and her weapons when she respawns they she'll still she will have all of that on her plus what she dropped here so it basically dupes whatever she's holding now when she dies she doesn't drop their they die they don't drop their weapons they drop whatever's in their inventory uh, so when they respawn that stuff is back in their inventory and it's also laying on the ground so I guess you could use that to kind of farm things but uh, no, nobody I know would do that so that is the NPC wand now we're gonna try another tool here and it is exactly like an axe except you make it with bread and sticks so here we go this is your NPC cloner and uh, do I have anything who do I not have cloned okay let's go over here we're gonna clone Paul hey Paul you crazy bow person you look let's right click Paul with the um, NPC cloner whatever you wanna call it and we're gonna stick him in slot six so click slot six Ah, you'll see his name has just showed up there now then I can go over here say and right click on the ground and I get that back up there and I could just click that and hey there's another Paul now I could change him to let's go up here and change his name to uh, Ringo there we go. Now he's exactly like the others. Oh, see his name changed. He's exactly like him. Let's see. He has a fish. He has a chicken. Ringo needs some other kind of food because apparently they all carry food with them. Let's give him a steak. Okay. All right. Right click with the NPC wand. Right click go to inventory remove the raw chicken and put the steak in there go back close that and there he has his steak now, I'm not sure what the deal is they uh, they have whatever they hold in their left hand becomes slightly more blue or purple than it's supposed to be uh, I don't know what the reason for that is but it doesn't matter you notice her little sword there it's darker colored than this one no clue why but that's the NPC uh, or custom NPCs mod you want my attention no I know what you want you want his attention don't you I see you looking you know what you look really familiar to me little guy I think if you were taller hmm I can't make that high-pitched voice that is that Simon makes from the Yogg's cast I haven't watched him in a while but yeah you know who he looks like you know it too don't you now watch I'm gonna right click on him and bring up uh, his screen his, his interaction screen and now watch the chat now all of this 
dialogue. This stuff is all configurable by you. And see, Tiakim, Weapon Master Finn, be kind of cute. Uh, now let's right click on him. And he says, You better be buying, Dark Noob. Yep. Nope, thank you. Anyway, just wanted to hear your dialogue. There's nothing in these chests right now because pfft, who cares at the moment. So I have Paul over here. I have Ringo. Oh, he just killed a creeper. Look at that. I hope he's a better shot than his brother. And what are you shooting at? Let's go see if we can draw in some mobs. Because this is actually kind of fun. If we can find something that we'll, I, we can bring back and have them shoot them. The cool thing is, though... Oh, I forgot. I can't do that. Let's uh, change game mode here. Whoa! Come here, feral skeleton. Oh, jump! Come on. Oh, frame rate. Lag. Ah, oh, he shot me! I think I've got mob damage turned off. Yeah, see? You just saw him just die right there. Apparently, Ringo's a pretty good shot. Uh, oh, battle. Take him out, buddy. No, no, ah. And, jeez, Paul, you're just no good, are you? What are you shooting at over there? Are there zombies? Come here, buddy. Let's get... Hey, you. Over here. Tia Kim. Hey, girl. You gotta help. There we go. Take him out. Haha. <laughs> yeah, die. Whoa. She killed an Enderman. You go, girl. <laughs> These things are a lot of fun. And I'm just scratching the surface on what the things you can do with them. Oh, look, they're taking out spiders, zombies. Get them. Get them. Oh, yes. Come here, spider. You, come get me. No, I don't want to get in the way because he will shoot me. All right. Shoot him. Really? Shoot him. Thank you. Paul, you suck, man. You need more training. Jeez. Okay. Let's get the zombies and stuff. <laughs> and you can collect all the stuff that they from the monsters they kill. Whoa! Oh, oh, crap. Run. Ah. No. Get him. Get him already. Hey. Well, there we go. See? John just shot Paul. Now, that's just not cool. Tia, girl. All right. Let's change game mode again, because i got to get her back over here. She's wandering off. Uh, zombie pig man. That sounds like a good idea. Here. Come here. Get back over here, girl. Over here. Thank you. What do you get over here? Walking away. Anyway, these things are awesome. Uh, I have had a blast <laughs> playing with them. You guys, ser seriously. George, I don't know. He hasn't made it here yet. Uh,. Trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk about. But, yep. Furry guard. Hello, guard. Oh. <laughs> Good to see you. Iggy, do you have something for me? Did you really have to give me another cow egg? Seriously? Oh, that's a villager egg. But I don't want villagers around here. I want just you guys right now. Because I don't want them to get mixed up. Let's get, so let's get rid of this guy and fix the wall that I just broke. Genius. Okay. No, you don't need to come in here. Stay outside. I'm telling you, these things are fun. So, yeah. Hey, creeper. Dude.
Come here, you. Come here, you. No. Come around here. Oh, take him out. Yep, they got him. Crack. My legs. Okay, anyway, I just, I had to show you guys this because I thought it was, <laughs> it was just so cool. Um, let's bring the spiders over here. Get him, spider. Come here. Come here. Don't shoot me. Come here. Take him out. I could just keep doing this. Whoa! Uh, I took him out. Okay. Okay, that's enough. I'll, I'll go now. <laughs> you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later. As soon as I see what he's shooting at. Zombie. Oh, good shot, Paul Ringo. Okay, later, folks.